let's have something special today maybe maybe a dessert or an ice cream i don't know what well, the technically this? an ice cream is a dessert technically ice cream is a dessert right so okay we'll, so we'll take some dates i want to make it a healthy one for now exactly so we take dates okay. instead of sugar right perfect date is so sweet a fruit and we have so many dates in our home but this date is not so soft so what we have to do no we have to soak it in hot water so that we can blend it easily you see it's too too hard hard and dry but it's a sweet date it's a natural date which we got from one of our friends so i am taking two glass of water this is to boil and to soak the dates in. and soak the dates and i am also adding something special you know coffee coffee i am making a concentrated coffee like 1/4 cup i will add the coffee other water is boiling water okay be careful it's a strong coffee so it acts like an essence that like an essence and can give, give the special flavor no right and i am taking two glasses of milk today we had extra milk you remember yep so i thought i will use that extra milk i am using natural vinegar to split the milk okay. into that milk solids and water okay what is my intention is to use the other this solids as a as to add creaminess to the dessert okay 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 and i am washing it so that that special taste of the vinegar will be removed you have to wash it two to three times otherwise vinegar will leave a special taste a sour taste yeah yeah to remove that one you have to wash it and i am adding it to, to my blender along with the dates dates are already soft now if possible to me always use something natural to add sweetness in your dessert don't take refined sugar sugar is one of the leading cause of so many diseases like obesity and there are so many other diseases i don't want to tell all these things you may get bored to me I am adding 1 teaspoon of coffee to the mixture. Maybe I will add add later also a little coffee. And half glass of milk. Then we blend. Make it into a smooth paste. it still contain little pieces of the dates so i need to blend it again to make it like very really smooth paste there should not, should not be any pieces in the mixture then again i am taking two glasses of milk initially i thought of making paisa then i thought every day whenever we get excess milk no we used to make paisa this time i will try something different to the milk i am adding 1 tablespoon of corn flour 
टू लैक्ट थिकनिंग एजेंट दिस इज टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ मिल्क पाउडर ऑल्सो यू कैन एड टू टेबल स्पून ऑफ कॉर्नफ्लोर इफ यू वॉन्ट ए थिक लिटिल मोर थिकर कंसिस्टेंसी आई एड एड वन टेबल स्पून ओनली एंड बिफोर पुटिंग इट ऑन द गैस स्टव just blend it well so that it will not get stick to the bottom of the pan we add the coffee essence coffee also right here and boil it as you start boiling the mixture will start thicken because of the corn flour in it you can make it little more thicken them and i am taking hide and seek this is the normal natural that original hide and seek but other hide and seek no that coffee the flavor coffee flavored one yeah i didn't had that on that time it would have taste better with the coffee flavored one but this time we had only this original one i am dipping it in the coffee just putting it in the pan you love hide and seek one it's a great biscuit i also love it with that small chocolate chip inside It's so tasty, actually. It's chocolate and chocolate. What's not to love? Hide and seek itself has some sweetness, so the dessert will have like sweetness from the hide and seek also. And just breaking the biscuit so that the one part, no, the other part also I can feel. Maybe we can use some other biscuits also, but I thought hide and seek, seek will taste much better. And the chocolate chips, no, it will not melt, it will not dissolve. So when you are eating like that, that's definitely a plus. Hmm, it is better. And the remaining that coffee. we will just sprinkle over the biscuits so it will get soft very well i am using a fork i'm just giving small small pricks so that when we eh, later when we add the other mix you know it will mix completely well to the previous mixture i am adding the other one that milk mixture and i will give like a one or two blend so that it will blend well oh coco and just sprinkle a little powder just on top not too much very little it will give that unique taste and the remaining like two three pieces of the biscuit i am adding to that small jar 
I'm adding like cocoa with cocoa, cocoa powder and lid cinnamon. cinnamon. And I'm just blending. It's only rough, rough powder, not that smooth type. Coarse powder only. And I'm just sprinkling it over the top. The mixture is so thick that it will not that other powder will not mix easily see you can with a spoon you can just move that powder it will not go down it will not settle down like this to stay in the top after that i am covering it with a cling film and we will refrigerate it for like four hour to six hour. If you refrigerate it for four hours, it will be little soft. One. Six to eight hour means it so will be easier to take it. Take it. Here we have refrigerated it, and that's the end here, product. End product. Here comes. So what we will call this one? Do you have a name for this one? Ice cream. Maybe biscuit ice cream. <laughs> we can call it biscuit ice cream or biscuit pudding. Wow, it looks so nice, right? Mm, definitely, and it tastes good. Without feeling much guilty, we can have this one. Thank you.